Christina Marie here. Welcome to another monthly wrap up. We're doing the wrap up for March today. Oh my gosh. It's going by too fast. Time is going by too fast. Um, I just got off work. It is 11 o'clock at night to be completely honest with you. Um, but I figured since my face was already made up and this is makeup I wore to work today. Actually pretty simple. I just put on Eyeliner, lipstick, boom, done. Oh, and foundation, of course. I said, let's just go ahead and just film while we're here. Um, I am going to just share with you the books that I read, of course, the rating I gave them, and just tell you why I gave them the rating, of course. I realize, and the reason why I'm going in depth with this is that I never really explain what, I, what my ritual is when it comes to these wrap-ups, and I have had some new... Um, subscribers so hi guys uh, so just want to give a quick little this is how this kind of video works at least for me so I'm gonna tell you my books tell you the ratings and tell you why I rated them a certain way I don't go into extreme detail but what the book is about mainly because my memory is a sieve and I remember nothing anymore but yeah let's get into it okay so you guys already know that I counted the first book I read in March which was the book by Tracy Garbus Graves um, what's it called on the island. Um, I read that as part of, you know, my February read, so I'm going to count that as February, even though technically I read it on March 1st. So that book is, I recapped in my February um, wrap up. So the book I'm going to count as my first book in March is Becoming Rain, and this is by K.A. Tucker. I read this um, as part of the blog tour for the release of the book. Um, it's another installation in her um, Burying Water series, I believe. And it's just a new adult contemporary kind of read. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars, which is very typical for K.A. Tucker and me. Her writing and I get along, but not to the point where I have read anything by her that's like 5 stars. She's always a 4 star author for me, sometimes bordering a 3.5. Um, it's just... There's something about her writing, and I said this in my review. Any of the books, if I've written reviews for them, if they're available, I will link them down below. But yeah, I've said this before in her, in my review of her book. There's just something that she does that it, it's just like oil and vinegar with the way that she writes her books sometimes. And the way that she ends them a lot of times, it just doesn't work for me. And I can't explain what it is. It's just something that just, it, we can't, I don't know. But I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, as usual, but I did enjoy the book. So the second book I read was a library book, so I actually had to return it to the library. So it's not here, but I'll insert a photo or which side, I don't know what side. But it is called Naked in Death, which is the first book in the In Death series by J.D. Robb or Nora Roberts. I love this book. It's just an adult romantic suspense. I loved it. It was great. I had so much fun reading it. I can't believe it took me so long to really read a J.D. Robb or Nora Roberts book. Oh my gosh. I have Nora Roberts books. I, my mom passed them down to me like when I was younger. Um, but I never really read them. And so Gwen from uh, Gwendolyn Reading Method, she's the one that inspired me to read this book. And so Gwen, if you're watching, I read it. I loved it. It's fantastic. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read is the second book in the Archer's Brother in the Archer Brothers series by Heidi McLaughlin. It's called Choose Me. This book is actually not out right now as I'm filming this video. Today is March 30th. The book comes out on April 1st, but I read it earlier this month. As I explained in a previous video, Heidi and I are actually friends, and so she uh, reached out to me um, and asked me to read it because long story short you know um i couldn't read it when she wanted me to but she didn't want me to miss out on the tour so she asked me if she could get it to me earlier could i read it and i agreed i finished it i loved it but you guys know how i feel about heidi you know how i feel about her i love her i gave this book a five out of five stars i can't really talk too much about it because it will spoil the first book but if you are interested when i write my review check my blog the review goes up April 1st. Great book. Next book I read, I actually have a hard copy. It's sitting all the way all the, across the room. I'm not moving. I'm lazy. I'm tired. My feet hurt. All of the above. So I'm going to insert a photo of it right here. It is The Cemetery Boys by Heather Brewer. This is a young adult thriller horror um, book. 
Um, didn't really love this book. Uh, I ended up reviewing it for the fandom.net. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. It was just one of those meh kind of books. Um, I think I ended up giving it like a three and a half out of five stars, or maybe a three out of five, something like that. I can't remember. Um, I just, it was just okay for me. It really was. It wasn't, it was just, I spent most of my time wondering what is the point of this book? Like, what? How stupid? It was mainly, basically, you know, it's one of those small town people, people who live in small towns can sometimes do really crazy out there things. It's one of those kind of reads and I'm just kind of like, you know, and so, um, I just, it didn't work for me. I appreciated certain aspects of the book, but in this particular case overall, I just was just like, meh. So, and this book is not out yet either. I think it comes out tomorrow, the day this video goes up, March 31st, I think. I think. But yeah, so, three out of five stars. The next book I read is another book that was sent to me. It is called Kate Triumph by Sherry Arnold. Let me just say right off the bat, five out of five stars. I loved this book. It's supernatural, fantasy, contemporary. It was a mixture of different genres all together. It's really, honestly, um, I classify it more as a soup, not a supernatural, a contemporary with supernatural elements. Like the main character um, has really fast healing and she has super speed and that kind of thing. But it's set in a contemporary world. The men, the men in this book, like it's a young adult um, book, but the guy, her love interest in this book, Swoon, I loved it. It made me want to go back to, he was in college, so he's not in high school, but it made me want to go back to college and just find me a him. I loved this book. I had so much fun. The characters were well written. The world was well written. I feel like there's going to be another install installment of, you know, to continue this, um, story because I just don't feel like this is the end of it especially with the end of this book I feel like there's more to it but um I loved it I had a great time reading it I think I read it in like a day or two the next book I read is another arc it was sent to me by um I'm part of a blog tour this is uh a book that I've been waiting to read uh so excited it's by my girl Sybil Bartell and it's called Impossible Promise this is a book uh, about a military man, of course, and his intertwinings with a girl that he inadvertently, you know, becomes involved with. He tries to save her from her life troubles. Um, didn't love this as much as No Apologies, but I still liked the book a lot. I just, I really enjoy Sybil's writing. I really enjoy her characters. I enjoy just the emotions that come with re the emotions that come with reading her books. I just, I have a good time reading them. Um, I ended up giving this one a 3.75 stars, almost a 4, but um, I think that rating might change to a 4 star after I reread a certain part of the book. I need to reread a certain part of the book, but right now I feel really good at the 3.75 that I gave it. I love the book. I love Sybil. I cannot wait to read more of this book. It's going to be, I think, part of a series or something, but yes, to Sybil, yes. Next, the only physical book that I have here with me, Dead of Winter by Cressley Cole. This is going back to the library, like, tomorrow. I finished this book. It took me a week and a half or so to read this book because it's one of those situations where I love the story so much and I love the series so much that I want to just hold on to it and just take my time with it because I know I'm not going to get another installment for like ever. Ever. I loved this book. I loved it. Five out of five stars. Cressley Cole and her manipulation of emotions. Oh my gosh. Now, I do know, I did know that there was going to be a cliffhanger because she does this every single time. But the emotion at the end of this book sent me over the edge. I just, I, I just sat there with my mouth just like, for real? Like, are you gonna mail me the rest of this story? Because you're clearly not ending it like that. I am not gonna be the one that you end a story like that on. Like, Cressley Cole. Oh, no. This, oh. 
can't even say a single thing about this book. I can't get detailed because it's going to spoil books one and book two. You need to read Poison Princess and Endless Night. You have to read it if you want to know why I'm feeling the way that I feel about this book. Oh my gosh, five out of five stars. I loved this book. I look. Do I seem angry? I'm so excited though. I loved this book. I need to put it down before I accidentally chuck it at the camera. I love this book. It's amazing. Please read the Arcana Chronicles. Please. Please go read it. Please. <laughs> and then the final book that I read this month is called Untrue Colors by Veronica Forand. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Picture will be right here. This is just another new adult contemporary romance that I really really enjoyed. I had a lot of fun with this book. Um, characters were fun, very real, well written, world was fun, plot was really fun too. It's about um, this girl who is an art um, forgery detector person. She could pretty much tell when art is a forgery. She messes around and gets involved in you know some situation that she really naively got herself involved in and so she has to try and protect her family from being impacted by her mistakes and along that route she meets this guy who um was putting his a painting down for collateral for something and she tells him it's a forgery and then he hires her asks her to help him find the real painting and that's how they kind of converge and get together and solve the mystery of you know forged paintings and I am butchering the synopsis of the story but I had a great time with it it wasn't too much sexy time it wasn't too little sexy time the plot was actually really good especially for a new adult contemporary romance I had a great time with this I loved it it was great I gave it a four out of five stars so I actually ended up reading eight books this month you guys eight books that is actually way more than I thought I would get around to so I'm really excited about that I am so pumped that April is here like now we're like spring is here um, Easter is this upcoming weekend so I'm gonna be really really busy with church things we have four Easter services and I'm in all four of them um, I don't know what I'm going to be reading yet in terms of my TBR, so I'm actually going to hold off on that video until after Easter. So that way I have some time to think on it and we can get through with the Easter, you know, holiday season and whatnot. And then I can kind of um, film a video because <laughs> I won't have time this week, I don't think, to film anything. But yeah, so stay tuned for my TBR for April after Easter. But yeah, comment down below with the books that you read. If you read any of the books that I did, what are your thoughts? Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have no idea why I'm so scatterbrained today, mainly because it's almost midnight. That might be why, Christina. But yeah, so thanks so much for watching, you guys. I am so happy to be filming a video. It feels like it's been forever, even though it really hasn't. It's just been insane crazy. But I'm happy to see you guys. Mwah! Hearts. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.